Good morning. North Carolina Pepper here. I wanted to talk about a very simple modification that will greatly improve the accuracy of your handheld radio. Or not accuracy, the uh, efficiency. Uh, one of the perks and benefits of making a counterpoise or pigtail or lion tail or whatever they call them nowadays to your radio is the fact that you can hit the repeaters with less power and extend your battery life. Basically, a rat tail, lambda wire, ground plane, counterpoise, whatever they call them, it's all the same thing. Basically, it's a quarter wave of um, wire attached to the, the part of your antenna. You know, so for a couple minutes, you can make one. So basically, we're going to make this for two meters. We need about 20 inches. And I already, I already measured this so I know, but it's, you know, it's 20 and a half inches. I already know. So, now we're going to take a ring tail, or a ring adapter. This will also work on the 70 centimeter band, because it's a harmonic of four, uh, whatever, 444 megahertz. Let's see what size the antenna is. We're going to put on the, uh, I guess it's an SMA adapter, I think. I don't know. Nope, not that one. There we go. That'll work just fine. Let me try this one though first. That just barely fits. We're going to go up the uh, bigger one. <clears throat> Wait, was that the bigger one? That was. So basically, take your ring tail adapters. You're going to go ahead and put this on the end. That's a pretty bad cut. Clean that up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the uh, ring tail adapter there. We're going to crimp it. These are really bad crimpers, to be honest. But they're what I got handy. Okay, and that's it. Um, let's go ahead and attach the radio. I'm going to pull back a little bit as I put it on. I'm going to tighten it down to uh, make sure it's touching the uh, antenna adapter. There we go. Let me power it up. This is a Yaesu VX7R submersible radio. For those times when you absolutely have to talk in the, you know, shower. Okay, there's a 440 repeater. Sorry about that. I got a work call and had to take it. And during that time, uh, battery died. So, oh well. There's how it hooks on the radio. Uh, just goes right on the adapter there. Like that. This will let you hit repeaters you couldn't hit before, or give you another couple bars of signal. But you can transmit with less power, and that's the important thing right there. I hear better. So there it is. You can cut it about six and a half inches if you want to be right on frequency for 70 centimeters. But I just do this. But you could take a, a power cord actually and cut one of these at 20 and a half inches and one at six and a half inches. You know the the zip cord, and then peel the rest off. But I pretty much do one for each band. But that's a radio tip day for survival radio, I guess. All right, this is North Carolina Prepper. Please uh, rate and subscribe, and have a great great day.